Massive water change to my tilapia pan. Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Alright, so I had to actually drain all the water from this 250 gallon tote. I have about two uh two dozen uh, tilapia. Some is ready to be eaten and some is too small just for procreation. Alright, so essence of this video. Um doing massive water change. Um, one of the advantage of small tilapia fish farm okay so I do mixed stock cultivation well I used to do mixed stock cultivation that is before I started to breed um, tilapia um, this was fuel snake right now instead of getting uh, one dozen two dozen um, tilapia flies or fingerlings uh, for my indoor stock I am now getting uh, between 10 to 12 dozen at any one go. Alright, so my last but batch of, of fries amounted up to about uh, 12, 13 dozen after checking, and uh, a few died because of um, improper, um, you know, stocking, um, sorting out. But I still have about 10 dozen left, right? Essence of this video. When you have small tilapia fish farm setup it gives you a lot of advantage in which large scale tilapia fish farm setup doesn't have however a large scale tilapia fish setup do make more bucks do make more monies so therefore it's not to say that you're gonna stop doing your large scale tilapia setup and go into small but i'm talking this video is primarily for the small scale tilapia backdoor farmer okay so i'm doing massive water change i don't have the money to um purchase um the amount of water conditioner i needed so as to you know change the water some water is on my house up into the tank in which i shared with you a few months ago how i do water change however this is a lot of fish guys and i would not like them to actually die because of chlorination in the water in any sense i am trying to preserve their health right so I shared it you already that I use um what do you call it aloe vera and aloe vera within my my my, my water and uh, that should help to stress them right it helps to it's helped them to be straightened as far as should in case there are any um, minute um, fragments of any chlorine in the water they'll be able to withstand that stress okay so going into the main meat of the matter now mixed stock cultivation can be bad and it can be good um, in mixed stock cultivation, it's normally done amongst small um, fish farmers, right? They would practically put all the tilapia in one container and they would actually draw from that container um, tilapia stock that is regarded as ready to be harvested. Now, I have actually changed the process and I have actually gone about to actually batch them, right? Okay, oh, uh, there is a, 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 a few tilapia in here with the black notches, or should I say, spots, right? I did this in the last video, so you can check the last video. Some person say that the black spots can help to determine whether or not a male or female. That's, that's not true. Alright, so I did that in the last video. Uh, essence of this video is sometimes for small tilapia fish farmers, although you have, you might have a stock of fish, that is considered at the same age, at the same size, sometimes you're gonna need to actually um, do some water change. Especially if you have mixed if you have mixed up cultivation. And the reason why you have to do water change, I mean like take out all the fish, place it somewhere, wash out the container, place them in rock, right? Um in comparative small fish farmers to large tilapia fish farmers. Large tilapia fish farmers will actually full uh, one acre two acre uh, piece of land um, 
well, pond, right, um, with water, and it will stay like that with tilapia in it, um, periodically being filtered, fish being, feed, be, being fed on a regular basis, and it will stay like that for seven months, right? After seven months, the water will be drained, it will stay like, um, it will stay drained for a very long time, probably about a week or two weeks, or in, in some cases, all months, right? Um, we don't have that luxury for small tilapia fish farmers. Small tilapia fish farmers don't have that luxury. So, um, some might practice mixed stock cultivation, wherein it, they actually draw from uh, a stock of fish if they have it in a container, right? Because of that, what you'll find is that not all of the fish will be ready for harvesting at the same time. As a result of that, you might have to actually do some cleaning of your pond space, your tank space, or whatever you keep your fish in. Um, fair to do such will result in your tilapia fish getting sick, getting diseased, and eventually dying. Right? Um, this is a 250 gallon tote, and really and truly, I, if, if you are going into it, let's say uh, for the first, uh, a, a tote like this, probably I would say, um, if you're going to batch, I would say uh, not more than probably a dozen. Right, but because I started off mixed stock cultivation at the beginning, I'm just um, dealing this batch until I reach the, the newer set of batches, which is about a dozen, dozen and a half, right, which is practically the same size, right. After all of these have been eaten, consumed, or whatever I do with them, um, I'll be going to that one dozen and a half, or should I say 18. I replace it into this space so all 18 will be ready at the same time so i don't have to be um doing massive water change like this throughout their lifetime within a space right uh, that's generally what the what the video is about um so the water is being replaced right but before the water was replaced i had to find something to place the, the, the fish in and this was not an easy this wasn't an easy task guys this was really difficult so in an effort to do that, I took one of my wife's um, pan, I said clothes pan. So I, I took one of my wife's um, pan in which, you know, we put dirty clothes in. And I actually filled it with water, placed all the tilapia in it, wash out that one, um, the, the 250 gallon tote. So you can imagine that was cramped, right? I had to do it very quickly. And then what I did after, I actually placed the fish while it is being filled. I, I replaced, well, took out the fish from out of the pan and placed it into... The tote so it will be like that for another a few well normally i do water changing but i would like probably drop it down to where it is at right now and then i would tap up back up you know so it's like 90 percent water change but it's a very long time since i have actually done a hundred percent water treat sweep uh water change sweep and um you know you know fix up the the, the fish make it they feel it a little bit more you know relaxed because the cleaner the water the more relaxed they are the more they are uh, tentative to, to actually breed, procreate. I, I, I got a lot of fries um, the last couple of, uh, about two weeks ago. So I am looking for the next probably two, three weeks. I should be able to get um, as equal or more fries within this space. So uh, the aloe vera is in the water. I can actually spread it in my hands. And I know that I'm going to be tasting it in my hands later. Right? But this is how it is, guys. Um, it has been an ordeal in, in the sense that you know, cleaning very quickly, returning the fish, and there's no light in the house because there was a heavy downpour a while ago, and the entire community is out of light. However, within a few hours, it should return, right? So, that aspect of the fish keeping hobby in Jamaica makes me nervous at times. All right, so that's it. Massive water change, using aloe vera, uh, mixed up cultivation, uh, you know, black spot, I, I, I actually shared to some of my fish having a black spot. It's not a disease guys, fish taste really nice, although they have a black spot, it's a genetical um, issue, right? And uh, genetical, you know, yeah, genetical, let's leave it at that, because research is still out on that one. Thank you very much for stopping by guys, have a wonderful day, peace out. Bye-bye.